What's good, superstars? Back with another video. We got superstar Giada. We got superstar Joe. And we got superstar Rob. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good. Pretty good. I, I came to prepare today. I got my ah! own. I got, I got my own here. You we're got your own, have, your own baby. We're gonna have to do it hand in hand at this point. You gotta so add can... that. You gotta add that into the name of your uh, title Ooh, there. Stitch, but anyway. no, Stitch is a worthy. <laughs> Stitch is a worthy. Super, superstar Stitch. <clears throat> but yeah. guys, if you haven't already, make sure to become a superstar. Hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, it's free. It lets you know when we post. You can go tell your great aunt that you became a superstar, and I'm sure that she will love it. So make sure that you do that, and uh, and maybe the baby won't cry in this video if you if uh, if you subscribe. So let's do that. Also, go check us out on Twitter. We're posting there all the time. Uh, Instagram and TikTok we use for giveaways whenever that comes back. But uh, we also like to repost your stuff. So if you got pictures, you got videos, post it there and we will give you credit or send it to us in the DMs. If you want to follow us on Vivi, we got Fastos 6909 for 9.9 .9 mil. That is our logo. That is our name, Superstar Money. Go find us, follow us. If I'm looking at the perfect timing, we will follow you back, I promise. But uh, Vivi still hasn't really updated the feed, and it's tough to, uh, to find. But if I am on it, I will follow you, I promise. Um, also, so let's get into this week. There is one more giveaway for – actually, this is the third of four. Sir Pyrology. For, for Sir April Pyrology, back again. Pyrology. So Pyrology is going off again with the giveaways. We're doing another Captain America UR. So ultra rare Captain America, a really, really cool piece, animated. So if you ever wanted an animated item, this is maybe one of the easiest ways to enter a contest ever. All you got to do, go to Pyrology World Community, make a profile, okay? Then when you're in here, let me show you guys. I'm going to show you guys. Baby might cry in about one second, but hold on one second. Come here. All right. So if you go to, for example, our, uh, hey, if you go to our uh, our topics, there's there's gonna be there's gonna be an April April third week contest or whatever down here. Yeah. See how we have April Pyrology <laughs> giveaway number two. We're gonna have a number three. So what okay. you're gonna do is you're gonna try and level up your profile to a level number three. So for example, this is rank number four for Ina. So they would be qualified. And then all they gotta do is come to the number three giveaway and post their favorite part of the website. Maybe you take a screenshot. Maybe you. You say why it's your favorite, anything like that. Just we want to know what you guys are enjoying the most about the Pyrology World website. So like Ina would be in already. We got Daddy D Dexmex already at, at six level six. Like you guys are flying up the ranks. So all you got to do is be a level three. So even Taran Vinayak, Taran Vinayak, he, he would be qualified. So all, And we need the profile. So easy ways to get your profile <clears throat> ranked up is make sure you have a profile photo. Make sure you have like a, a profile set up the profile page. Um, you can join Superstar Money, the group. That'll give you some points uh, to get towards it. If you, you post join us in the Superstar chat anytime you want. Yeah, talk in the chat. If you post a topic, um, anything like that, you're going to get some points towards your rank. So if you don't have an uh, account yet or if you just made one for one of the giveaways, now these are ways you can do it. Play some games, go uh, listen yeah. to some songs, any type of stuff like that's going to get you points towards your profile, which will rank you up. See if you can beat Music Man's high score. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if that ever got reset, but it's like 100 million. Yeah, so it's crazy. Good, good luck with that. But uh, yeah, so that's that's how we're going to do it. And then uh, we're going to do a wheel giveaway from uh, from the April oh, 3rd. Oh, the wheel of names. And we'll be wheel talking about coming back. The wheel of names is coming back. I missed it <clears> on the last one. And uh, I think that's a good way to do it. So. That's how we're going to do it. It's going to give us some more interaction with the rest of the website. There's all these tabs here, so you guys can go check them all out and rank yourself up to level three at least. Okay. Um, today we had a drop. It was Fallen Sun, the last one. Finally, we're done this comic drop. Five yeah. of five. I actually like the comment on this one the best of all the comments. And, of <clears> course, <throat> I fell asleep during the drop, so I didn't go for it. How about you? No, I didn't go for it either. Um, didn't I didn't gamble to see if I can maybe pick up one of those ultra rares, rares, and secret rares. I didn't go for it, but I'm noticing a trend here that every drop, the prices keep going lower and lower. So this one here was actually a 3.9 right now. Oh, wow. So I'm not going to be – if things stay the way they are and we continue in this environment where your burn rate is basically the same or more than new gems coming in, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these like D-tier comics end up under a dollar at some point. Yeah, no, I, I could see it eventually if we keep going this way. Um, and then who knows, maybe that'd be a good time to start stacking these because the next pump, they might yeah. have the most, the, the highest multiple, they go back up, right? If they even yeah. go to a couple bucks. 
Yeah. Um, so maybe maybe that's a strategy, but who knows? Also, Matt Gondek came out with a bunch of stuff today. They came out with the, the article about, uh, I forget what they're called, the deadbeats. Um, so I'll click that quickly. We'll go through it. Yeah, the but, deadbeats uh, are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool, but I, I don't know if I'm going for them still. Um, well, you got Matt, Matt himself. He made, he made a, I guess, a duck a version of himself. It's 60, pretty cool. I like the art. It's nice. 60, 60 gems, 7,777 editions. Then okay. you got the... The uncommon is Aaron. So my collectibles right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my collectibles version. You can He's get for 60 gems. Uh, 6,777. Then you got Karina. What's he drinking? Um, is that a spray can? It's a spray can. It looks like in a knife. <clears throat> so scary stuff here. 4,777. Mm -hmm. This one's my favorite. It's the ultra rare. There's only 1,777. This should really be the seeker rare. Just because the seeker rare is this Bart Simpson and uh, Melvin character one and this is actually not even available in the blind box it looks like this is only going to people who have owned um it's like what to say here as a thank you to collectors this edition will be gifted to holders of failure of control at the time of the snapshot taken cool, cool. so that's that's going to, if you owned it you're getting a free airdrop it looks like which is something it seems like is coming from a bunch of the uh independent artists yeah they they like to do that i think to uh promote their stuff but i feel like if they told people in advance they would get probably more they make you know, more money traffic yeah like they if, make more money <laughs> if you just told people in advance you're doing this then all of a sudden yeah. people will rush to try to own this stuff and hold it but i don't know i love them it's just the way the market is right now i have a feeling i could probably pick them up for cheaper on the secondary market yeah. if i do one on one i have to be really really cool ar photos you could yeah. probably do some really cool uh showroom things with it as well so i like, like them but i'm not i'm not going for the million drop I don't think so either. 60 gems a little bit rich for me, especially yeah. since it's not Disney or whatever. Disney's selling their stuff for 60 gems. And um, under. It's tough. It's tough to justify. But uh, yeah, especially that Mickey. Mickey's going for 40. So what's this going to go for? It's not even Mickey or anything like that. Let yeah. us know what you guys think. Um, there's also a second airdrop coming, which is this poster, <clears> which is like, to me, if I was wanting one or the other, I would, I would prefer, I think, uh, the collectible just because I'm not into posters that much. But this poster of the four characters is coming um, it says, as a thank you to the collectors, this edition will be gifted to holders for the full set of weapon racks at the time of the snapshot taken yeah. on the night. So that's the other thing. Sweet uh, street print poster coming to you guys. So yeah. that's all I got. I want to pull it over to Rob now. And uh, we're going to talk about MCP Pro, which yeah. is something that maybe not too many people know about. They all know, heard about MCP program. They've been preparing their bags <laughs> that way. But this time we have MCP Pro. So what's that all about, Rob? Yeah, I want to expand this a bit. But first... I just want to point out if you do want to read this on your own, it's part of the MCP article that's on the VV's medium right now. You can go and read it. So VV master collector program V point uh, 1.0 scroll down. I mean, it gives you everything. If you want to learn about it, it gives you everything. And I think we're going to slowly chip away at this article for things that we just noticed haven't been discussed a lot in the community. One of those is actually MCP pro and what you can do with that. But first, every time we talk about, talk about MCP, we always want to give a huge shout out to Bravo's assassin. Uh, here's his Twitter legend on Twitter. He created his own and Joe, Joe there that was passed the baton there. Good job. Good job. But, uh, I just he, did the uh, handoff. He just did the handoff right there, <laughs> but he created this website called VV set list. We talk about it every time we talk about MCP, you can look up how many MCP points you get. So by the sets, if you complete a set, what's the dollar per MCP you're paying. And you can filter to see what's the cheapest or what. Or if you're Fantastic to website. Today. I use this website every day whenever I'm looking to improve my MCP. Um, Bravos Assassin is killing the game as usual. And uh, honestly, like even if it's not up to date, up to date all the time, it is. He, he makes sure to update the things that are the best value. And yeah. his Twitter is a, a must follow. He's always posting when something becomes in the lead, like, oh, this is great for MCP. He always posts that. And on top of that, now he's been posting like all kinds of other interesting stuff um, yeah details. like the wallets like the wallets oh, right exactly Those you can see how many people. collectibles or and collectibles and comics aren't just, it's just whenever you're you're feeling down go check out Bra brazos bravos assassins uh twitter and it'll make you so much more pumped for the project and but our also, favorite <laughs> our favorite page is the learn page because here you can learn about mcp and great you will videos. see great superstar videos, money yeah. you'll see some superstar money and you'll see some superstar money videos and hopefully this one ends up there too so shout out Bravo's Assassin. So let's get into it. MCP Pro, okay? And I'm just going to read this to start. MCP Pro is designed for those collectors who want to take their collecting to the next level. 
with MCP Pro, collectors can gain exclusive features within VV to grow their collection and access additional pro-only features. Collectors in the top six ranks, so obviously there's going to be a bunch of ranks, top six ranks will automatically gain access to MCP Pro at no cost, whereas all other collectors who opt in will be charged a monthly subscription, pricing to be shared at a later date, hashtag soon. So uh, that's that's a good thing, though, because we did see on yesterday's video, I can't remember when we did that video, but uh, it was $10,000 or $10,000 worth of OMI to have the renting capability. But we do know that, and it's I'm, I'm jumping ahead here, you see renting collectibles here. Um, the, the subscription service, probably going to be cheaper than $10,000 a month. Uh, I think so. So you might get some, some perks from that, um, which can be beneficial towards you. So let's I'll let you keep going. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that for sure. But definitely that's going to be a huge benefit that we're going to touch on. So the subscription will be accessible only above a specific level. So you have to be above a specific level even to even pay for that subscription in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just start going through the features. We're going to get to renting as well. We'll go one by one and add whatever you need to add. So one is going to be small percentage bonus, small percentage bonus on all points earned. Yeah. So right now we're all talking about MCP points. We're saying you own a rare comic, get two points, best bang for your buck. You finish this, you get the stamp, you got a full set right there for, and if you got it on the drop for six bucks, we talk about low mints giving you a 50% enhancement in your, in your MCP points. But what we never talk about is that all those points are going to be even better if you're part of the MCP pro program. Yep. If you're that rank, that's high enough to be MCP pro, you think you're good right now with your secret rare, that's low mint, that's giving you nine points a day. It's probably going to be even more if you can get into this program, which is why you should care about MCP. Because those points can then be reused for many things, such as participating with raffle tickets and other other options, as well as a rich, rich rich get richer with this line item. Rich get richer. I think so. so. If you if you've been preparing for MCP and it's still not announced yet, so there's still plenty of time it seems like to prepare. Um, but if you do your preparation and then they they do unroll it and you're in that top, not even <laughs> top tier, whatever the tiers are to just get to the ability to pay for this. Uh, it could be beneficial down the line. Instead of spending money on uh, things you don't want and then trying to flip them, maybe you can actually land some drops that you do want. Yeah. So you also get exclusive MCP Pro badges to display in showrooms. Not sure how that's going to look. Yeah. Just a, I think it's more fun than anything. Not really going to drive, I think, demand for the program, but it's just yeah. a nice to have a, a flex to say, look, I'm in this program. Badges like Pairology's website. There's a <clears> bunch <throat> of badges you can get there and you'll need three or uh, three ranks to get into the next contest. Sorry, shameless exactly. plug. Exactly, exactly. Premium user profile badge. So I guess on the, I mean, as of right now, you can't really search people's profiles, but eventually you probably can. Yeah. You'll be able to see that they're a premium user. So you know they're very serious. They probably have a very serious collection. This one I thought was really cool. You can display rarity and addition number next to collectibles and showrooms in AR. I feel like right now, if you took a photo in AR with your Batman or whatever, people and don't had know. the mint number, people don't really care right now. Like the average Joe, no pun yeah. intended, because you're not average, you're a superstar. I'm super Joe. Yeah, you're super. You're a superstar Joe. You're not, you're not yeah. the average Joe. But the average Joe probably has no idea if you have a mint 40 or 41, sorry, a mint 41 of Woody. I know there's one guy out there. I can't remember. Of course, name. of course, think, Woody. I think it's Crypto Chris. I think that has the full Pixar Pal set with the number oh. 41 of all of them. Yeah, that's expensive. So that's somebody who probably want to take a photo and show his number 41 and everything. But as of right now, nobody will care. I think one day people will care. They'll be like, "Whoa, you got a low three mint uh, collectible, and you show it in your photo, so they know what number mint number you have." on top of having the collectible yeah and that's or good that's going to drive maybe, that on. maybe that's how you prove that you have certain addition numbers to uh spark utility so maybe down the line in order to do something you need to have one collectible that's sub 100 or something and then you can like prove it that way by sending a picture of your showroom or maybe people have access to your showroom when you're walking around the vverse they can like click you and then say oh here's this showroom and they click your showroom and check it out who knows? Like they, that's a way, a proof of uh, a proof of existence of something. Yeah. Uh, just by being able to do that, so that might be a cool feature. Yep, it's definitely cool. Another one moving on is the auto bid feature for market auctions. Basically, they're letting you be a bot. I think <laughs> where where like you just put in a price. You're like, listen, come this at this time, right before closure. I want this I, much. I want this bid to win it, and I'm that gonna could've... walk away live my life. That could save you a lot of money and, or it could uh, also spark auctions. Cause right now, like who really buys from auctions? I don't know many people who do, 
I kind mm-hmm. of figured it out. Great video idea about on why you would want to use an auction. And I, I kind of figured out why you want to use one. We're going to save that for another video, but there you guys want to see that. Let us know. Yeah, you want to see know. that? There's a time where an auction could get you what you want better than listing it, but we could talk about that another time. So then I, anyways, auto act, auto bidding. There's so many people who probably forget to go yeah. at the right time to do the bid. So I think that's going to help drive demand for MCP pro and why it matters and why you should care about MCP. I wonder right if now. it would show other people. I wonder if they would show like, this is what people are willing to pay if you don't pay it. Like, I don't know if, like, oh, I'd, imagine I'd, be, that. I'd be curious. I, I wouldn't like that, but yeah. Cause um, it kind of ruins the point of it. Yeah. Um, but that's a, that's could be a benefit. So here's, here's what I was talking about at the beginning with the additional percentage points. Yeah. You can use this point. You get access to exclusive content, accessories and collectibles. They've mentioned before, you might be able to use your points to yeah. pick up some accessories, but the fact that it says collectibles, I think there's going to be just exclusive drops for MCP, MCP pro. pro. Yeah, I think so too. I agree with you. Who knows if they'll be amazing, but maybe that's how they roll it out at the beginning. Like just like when they did the Disney golden moments, it was kind of like to promote uh, Disney plus. Maybe they promote MCP Pro by throwing down like a huge drop. Uh, I don't know if it would be IP related or if it would be like independent artists, but maybe they throw down something that people really want just to get people into the program and get it off. Yeah, I think it, I think especially if these – and I, I can't remember if at some point I, I heard that maybe they don't necessarily want to do this for like really high-end IP, yeah. but there's a – yeah, like I have a feeling that from a business perspective, they're going to like, imagine you just do all your Disney drops. You have to be an MCP pro. You yeah. want it, pay for the subscription or get in that top six range. And then they give Disney a cut just to keep them in, interested in the game again. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, uh, I think, I think that's where it's headed for sure. So I can see that coming. Now we're in a bear market. Prices continue to drop. We've made videos. We think that unless things change, it will probably continue to drop. Yep. So I'm hoping eventually it gets to a point where picking up these MCP points are going to be cheap. I had a great comment on Twitter. Someone's like, "Oh, and we, we made the video about MCP points." They're like, "That's going to be easy when everything's zero. So, yeah, that's so true, right? It's true. it's true. So we're in an era where where people who are enduring this bear market, they're educated now on VV. What's coming? They're not new to the game anymore. So if prices hit a point that they become very very attractive, it allows that accumulation so that on the next NFT pump we have a huge advantage going for yeah. going into the future from there. So I think that's going to be cool with the exclusive content for sure. Now, the next one, the next one's m- one of my favorites. All right, go, go Burn. off. This is a fun one for you. So burn collectibles for points is, is fantastic. Now this is, this is what I'm going to call the FOMO point. Okay. Um, I don't think people are going to just necessarily burn these for points unless they have a reason to. So um, maybe you have a certain amount of MCP points per day that you get. And maybe I say, you say you're getting a hundred points a day. And maybe you need a thousand to participate in a drop raffle. So maybe um, they announce like banger after banger, like they've done a few times to us. And you use your points for one drop. And the next drop is only like seven days after that last drop. So now you only have 700 points and it costs you a thousand to, to enter the drop raffle. Now you have these Mermacorno sitting there where they say, listen, you, you burn this, I'm going to give you a thousand points. Or I'm going to give you even a hundred points. And you had three Mermacornos. Okay. I don't really love the Mermacornos. Um, they've been getting me a couple points a day. Maybe they get you whatever it is, um, two, five points a day. And let's say, um, it would take you some time to accumulate it, or you can do one shot, burn it, lowering the population of that item, but then you get the points to participate in that drop. So I could see that being like a last minute FOMO into a drop type of thing where you start to see the population of some of these lesser wanted items dropping and making everything more valuable. And it's just like a continuous snowball. And that will be one really good thing for Vivi and Omi, I think eventually, but um, what do you think? We know that there's going to be, I really believe there's going to be whales who, who are buying up secret rare low mint numbers right now. And they're stacking potentially just to burn. Yeah. Um, Because if you think about it, if you have something like a secret rare Spider-Man, it sounds insane, but if you have people who have a lot of money or they've purchased a lot of them at a very cheap price and they currently own five of them, you might have that cult come together and say, guys, we own like 70% of this market share and we're all a team and some of us have doubles. Let's just burn all the doubles. It's going to make it that much scarce and that much harder to be able to pick them up. On the flip side, like you said, people might start burning them 
just to get points for whatever reasons, like here, yeah. that we just talked about to yeah. participate in a raffle drop or for other reasons, you might start seeing over time, these collectibles getting burned start becoming scarce, but like, yeah. you're like, Oh, it has 10,000 mints before we know flip. it. They might yeah. flip the sentiment might flip. Exactly. Who knows before you know it, maybe there's 6,000 mints, maybe there's 4,000 mints, who knows? Yeah. And as those mints come down, if you do happen to have one of those and you don't, and you actually like it, you want to own it as people burn it, it's going to become that much more better. It'd be very interesting to see when people start burning the low mint numbers, because you have low mints from 40, was it 41 to 999? Okay. Yeah. Three digit mints. It'll be really interesting to see if people go to like, say the Woody, we know how much we like talking about Woody. Okay. Don't, and they say, don't say we, okay. Okay. Don't say well, we. Hey, listen, listen, <laughs> go check out the video. We talked about how BB is yeah. going to be the next dating app. Okay. The next, app. The next big dating app. Yeah. Okay. This is, so, so there's these woodies from, from 41 to 99. What happens when half of those three digits get burned? They should allow people to see which ones have been burned. Yeah. So you know exactly, whoa, now I, only half are left. I want a three digit the, Or you now have the, the bottom 50 left. Yeah. Um, or the two digits. Yeah. Imagine the two digits to get burned. Exactly. So right? let's, let's get it moving here. Um, right. free, free drop raffle tickets per month. That's pretty straightforward. You're going to have a couple drop uh, raffle. It, it seems like there's going to be a bunch per month. and uh, They're going to they, let you participate. They'll let you participate in some of them. That's one perk. So at least you get something for your money if you don't have uh, luck with some of the drops. Renting collectibles, that's a big one. Okay, that's a big one. Um, we know that's that we know that in terms of staking an OUP, it's going to be $10,000 worth of OMI in order to do this. But now it, it might be a very, very small percentage of that if you're able to pay for MCP Pro, if you're just leveled up to whatever level you need. Um, well, there, there might be people who are not comfortable buying OMI. It's kind of a yeah. tedious thing to do. And they might have a lot of collectibles, at least through the VV app. We want VV to be mainstream. People don't really like going through the wallets of buying OMI and between exchanges and all, you know, the KYC that they make you do, all this stuff, the crypto world might turn some people off. Well, they could through the direct VV app, just pick up collectibles, get MCP points, get into MCP Pro. Then they have access to rent collectibles and they don't need to do it as part of the OMI utility program, no. which requires like 10,000, they, they say $10,000 worth. I'm assuming that's 10,000 USD worth of OMI at yeah. the time. So, and if OMI, very, if OMI goes up, it might be easier than people think to get there, but um, right. it's all dependent on how, so, how VV advertises and whatnot. So if you're not interested in MCP, but you don't want to buy OMI, well, maybe you should be interested in MCP because then you can rent, right? Exactly. Extended AR features, not sure what that is. They haven't expanded. We can only speculate what that's going to be. Maybe it's going to let you do two collectibles at the same time Who knows? versus just one. It's pure speculation. We don't know. And more to come. Hashtag so, soon. We don't know when. That was pretty cool. I think that was a fun one. Um, guys, let us know what you're most excited for for the uh, for the MCP Pro. Are you going for it? Or are you going to try and do staking instead? Are you a crypto person? I think MCP Pro kind of helps out, like you just said on the last point, helps out the people who aren't crypto people to get involved. So I, I think that's I think we said a lot. I think it was a, a good time. And uh, Rob, I'll let you take it away. Yeah, like Joe said, let us know below. We'd love to hear from you guys. We respond to every comment. We want to hear if you agree with us. If you don't agree with us, are you going for MCP points? Do you not care? We've also made lots of other videos about MCPs, especially you, it's not just the whale game. It doesn't matter who you are. You can participate too. VV is not that big. So let us know below. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Join the superstar fan. You can become a superstar as well. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye. Bye.